Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm back with another garden layout because since last time things have changed and I'm no longer really doing many of the celebration cake parties anymore and has instead switched over to do more of crab pot pie. So this layout is to accommodate using those crops. As you can see here in my inventory, I have an apple tree seed because I still do want some apples to make lures. I have 12 uh, tomatoes for the water retention. I have uh, 12 onions because we need onions in the recipe. I have 12 carrots for the weed prevention. And I have corn because it's also uh, a part of the recipe. I have wheat because it's also a part of the recipe. But because both corn and wheat boost the amount of uh, harvested crops, so it is very nice. And then lastly, potatoes. Even though we can use any crop in the crab pot pie, any vegetable, potato makes the dish uh, worth a lot more than say if you use carrots so for this setup uh even though you only need the onion the corn the wheat and the potato we do still use the carrot and the tomato for their boost but i recommend you can just either s make them into seeds and sell them or you can also just put them into the preservation stations so let me get on with the layout that i recommend you using i stayed up uh, for a long time working on how to get the boost all around the crops the best way possible while also making like a fairly okay simple layout. So I want to start with the apple because it's just the biggest and it goes right in the middle. And from here I want to go with the tomatoes because they are pretty simple in their p places too. We want to have two here on all the adjacent plots and for the last four we want to put them right here up here right here and lastly one here so this was like the easy part and from here i want to take the onions because they also have like pretty clear spots Kind of like the opposite of what we just did with the tomatoes. We want in each corner like this. And like this. And for the last four, we actually just want them here in the middle next to the apple seed. Like that. So that is pretty easy. For the carrots, once we have placed these down, it's actually pretty easy. We want here in the middle, next to each of the onion. And here out on the sides, we want two like this. And then one in the middle of this one. And two here. I want to do that on the other side as well. be fairly easy. From here on we will go to the corn which we have to do a little bit more in its own way. There is only one corn in this plot then two like this and this and then one here. Same scope for here two in each corner and then one here in the outer corner. Again, the same here, here and here. And one here in this corner. And then here for the last one, one in each corner. From here, we can take the wheat, where which we only have eight off compared to the others where it was 12. And the potato is 16. 
For this, we want to put right here and here, up here and here, here and here, and lastly, here and here. The only thing we have left now is the potato, which we're just going to fill in in all the spots we have left. So with this layout, it is actually really nice to just let it sit and take care of itself because you have wheat prevention and water retention on all the plots. There's only a few crops that doesn't get the harvest boost, which for me isn't the biggest issue. We are gonna use the, the speedy grow fertilizers to get everything going much faster. The one that's most easy to how uh, to boost up is the apple tree because it doesn't really take more than 100 for like the whole plot. All the others, I uh, did give some of the harvest boost fertilizer already, but you want to fill everything in so everything get boosted. The adjacent crops to the apple tree doesn't actually need the fertilizer because they will get the speedy grow from the tree itself. So this is like my suggestion to a nice and easy farm layout that takes care of itself, but also provides you with all the crops that you need. Uh, it won't give you cotton or rice or the blueberries or the chilies, but it's not the crops that I really use. Of course, uh, the chilies would be nice if you'd like to make uh, chili dumplings. Um, but it's not really needed. So I'm also going to make a video talking about how the crab pot pie has kind of taken over for me in the most valuable dish. Um, because for me, it's a great dish, not only to do in parties, but it's also one of the dishes you can do alone to make money, which I feel is a really nice thing because it's not always you want to play with others or like gather in a big group for cake uh, for like the cake parties because it takes a long while to assemble a cake party and even like there's not that many people that is interested in cake parties anymore since they nerfed it and changed how it works and it's really difficult sometimes to just get everyone into a server so that is why for me crab pot pie is kind of the winner in terms of making money I do still make the celebration cake to get the the fertilizer I need for this layout, but other than that, I don't really I don't really tend to many cake uh, celebration cake parties anymore. Uh, so I will link this layout in the description below, and you can also join my Discord to get any more tips and also post suggestions to what you want to see, as well as you can write it down in the comment section below. Please uh, make sure to like and subscribe, because I do make more videos like this, and a lot of people who are watching these videos aren't subscribed, so it will help me up, help me out a ton. But yeah, I hope this will help you for your garden layout and if you have any other layouts that you use feel free to let me know but until next time have fun bye